Steve, good to see you. Your decision to come out this week has been described as brave, historic, groundbreaking. How would you describe it? You know, for me, it, it really isn't a, a big issue. Um, it was something that I was comfortable to do. Um, I've been thinking about doing it for a while. Um, the time was right for me. Um, and, yeah, I'm really relieved to get it off my chest. Was there a moment when you were preparing to make the call where you thought, yeah, maybe this isn't going to work out? Yeah, you know, doubts do go through your head. Um, you always think the worst, don't you? It's only, it's only natural. Um, everyone does it. But, but like I said, I, w I was really comfortable with who I am. Um, I was ready to do it. I needed to do it um, because, you know, I had a three and a half month tour um, away in Australia. So, I, you know, I felt the time was right. And like I said, I was very relieved to get off my chest. So why now for you? Why, why this time? You know, it just felt right. Um, I can't really put my finger on it, but it just felt right for me. I was really comfortable with it. And if you'd have asked me two years ago, then maybe, you know, I wouldn't be in this situation. But, but now felt, felt like the right time. And, and, and everyone said to me that touring with England should be the, the best time of your life. And, and for me, you know, the cricket was great, but sort of the off-the-field off stuff was, um, was tough. I found it tough at times. Explain to me how you found it tough. Are you talking about the banter? Yeah, you know, all sorts of things, really. Um, obviously, the dressing room banter. Anyone, everyone that knows, that's played in a sports team knows how precious the, you know, the dressing room is, and it's a great environment to be in. And, you know, there were times where I couldn't really get fully involved in, in all the banter, um, w which I like to do. So, uh, you know, I was always worried that it might just, you know, come back onto me sort of thing, so try and stay out of the way. Were people asking questions of you? Was it getting to a point where it was that uncomfortable, where people were starting to wonder, do you think? I, I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I, never, I never lied about my situation. If people asked me whether I had a girlfriend, I would say no. Um, so I was never lying about it, but I would never tell them the, you know, the truth that you know, I was actually gay. So you know, in that respect, it was, it was never really an issue. But for me, the time was right, and I, and I wanted to get it off my chest. Now, we've all only just found out within the last week, but of course your, your peers and your teammates have known for some time. How did you actually go about breaking the news to them? Well, I told, the first person I told was Andy Flower, who's the England coach. Um, it was at Loughborough, and it was about a week before we left, um, before the Ashes. Again, like he, you know, I, I owe him so much. Him and Andrew Strauss, who really supported me 100%, and, and helped me break the news to the rest of the lads. So I told Andy, and then we we chatted for a good hour and discussed options of how I was going to tell the was boys. It all good at all, was it? No, I mean it was, you know, it was tough. It was a tough thing for me to do. Is this the hardest thing you've ever had to do? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, you know, it was, it was tough, and but it's it's something that I've always wanted. Um, I've wanted it for a while now, but like I said, probably a couple of years ago, I, was, I don't think I was quite ready, but um, you know, I feel like I'm quite well respected in the, in, in the game of cricket. Um, you know, I've built up some really good friendships, uh, and so I just wanted to, to let the boys know the truth. You've had a really positive reaction to, to your announcement. Has that surprised you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a crazy week since, since I've sort of announced it. My phone hasn't stopped, you know, with really positive messages. You know, I've logged onto Facebook and I've had I've had messages from people in Australia playing club cricket, just saying that they're really pleased for me and it's helped their situation out. Which you know, that's the reason why I'm here, just to help. You know, just even if it's just one other person. So that's you know, it's been overwhelming the response, and you know, I'm very grateful for those people that have messaged me. You must have dreaded some kind of negative reaction. Has there been any from from anyone? No, I'm mean, so far so good. So. Like I said, I'm, you know, I'm very grateful and I've got to thank those people that have shown their support.